Let's get into the main part of the show. Sorry, I've been fucking cock teasing this this whole time. I apologize for the fucking dick tease. I apologize for rimming you guys. I apologize for putting on my lingerie but then falling asleep. Let's get to the main, to the main piece de resistance, which is Tune Town episode five. Tune Town episode five. I find it funny, right? After all the views I flipped my TRX truck got. The clickbait thumbnail, the title, whatever, using Chin's fucking neck brace as a, you know, as a as material. Oh my god, look how as material, right? And then um, even though he's one that broke Chin's neck in the first place, right? Then using his same neck brace to get views on his videos to pay himself is fucking wild. All that, all those, all that attention, and it only got one hundred seventy-two thousand views. Whereas other videos on he flipped my truck have got millions, so he didn't even get all the. That's a, that's, a, that's a, such a sad thing. He didn't even get all the views. All the views got put on other channels. Other fucking people taking a piss out of him. The the initial clip that went on Instagram on on Twitter got way more views that I don't think was his either. So all the views are definitely not going through to Tune Town. They're going on other people's platforms. Fucking wild. So this is episode five of Tune Town. Let's watch this and see what I go on. I already hate the fucking thumbnail because you can already tell from the thumbnail he still can't cut that moustache properly. Look at the right hand side of that moustache. It's still uneven. You can tell from the thumbnail that that moustache is still fucking uneven. He still can't evenly line up his moustache. You can even tell from there that it's uneven. Even though his mouth is crooked, you can even tell it's fucking uneven on the right hand side, which is this side there, the right hand side of his face. It's fucking uneven. How redacted. And also... Also, look what he done. He photoshopped the Mint 400 logo on his hat. Even though he's got the Mint 400 logo there on the thumbnail, right? It's right there on the thumbnail. Brendan felt the need to photoshop the Mint 400 logo on his fucking trucker hat. Because to show he's down, right? How fucking redacted. <laughs> oh, what a fucking legend. And I love how he's got this picture of this car in the thumbnail, which he didn't drive, by the way, right? This actual, you know, pickup truck, fucking desert fucking truck thing, this badass car, when he just drove that fucking tuned up Volkswagen Beetle. Still good, the dune buggy, but not as good as this in the thumbnail. So a bit of false advertising there because he didn't actually drive the car in the thumbnail. And he also photoshopped the logo on his hat. That's a big L. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> All of this stock footage is amazing, but it's nothing that he did. All this stock footage is fucking incredible, but he didn't drive any of those cars. He didn't take part in any of those races. He didn't do any of those things in those cars. Like, why? why? It's just, it's such a, it's such a false advertisement. Like, it looks cool. It looks great, but he did nothing of that stuff, you know? In April of 1968, at a time when voiceovers, AI voiceovers, yo, Thick Boy are investing a lot of money into this shop, isn't it? AI voiceovers, you gotta love Thick Boy Productions are going up, bro. Thick Boy Productions all summer 2024. NASCAR was barely out of its teenage years. The Mint Hotel executives greenlit the first ever Dell Web Mint 400 rally. What started as a one-day fundraiser back in the golden age of Las Vegas has now grown into a week-long festival with multiple events throughout the city and the surrounding areas. Over 500 race teams in 80-plus classes compete on a 100-mile course for two days in front of crowds. By the way, we definitely needed Mint 400 lore and background from Toontown. We couldn't just got it from all the other hundreds and thousands of videos that exist on YouTube. We re we definitely needed to hear the Tune Towns description and background history into into fucking Mint 400. You're just padding this video. You don't need to have this info. Just go into what was your experience like. Tell us how you viewed it. What was it like for you? We don't care about the history. We can find that out through another extensive video that probably covers it in way more detail and it's far better better done than this. You know what I mean? It's just like a way to pad out the video, I think so. You just go straight into like how it was for him, preparing, how nervous he felt, 
you know, what he saw when he got there, did it match his expectations? Like, more of a personal thing. We don't need this. No one's coming to Tune Town for this. I don't think so. The top 25,000. The Mint has once again become a beacon for the entire off road industry and earned its distinction as the Great American Off Road Race. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hate that punch thing, by the way. He needs to stop doing that. If that punch thing was a way to like remind people he used to fight, or if he did that as part of like the Shorb Show or like, you know, Food Truck Diaries, fair enough. But always doing the fucking, what's up, guys? It's just annoying. Just, just, just speak. Use your words. Or is he just, or is that he's like, or is that he's like, he's punching in to, to sync the audio or something. And also, why is he sitting like this? Or he's just like, <laughs> the moustache again. The fucking moustache. He can't line that, sh he can't line that bit up for shit, can he? He struggles so much with that right hand side. Maybe his arm just doesn't extend that far around his fucking face. Now, last time you saw me, I saw. flipped my TRX. Oh, no! Of course they included that clip in there, of course. It was terrible. One of the worst moments of my life. Oh, but shit. something really? good did come out of this whole mess. My boy Matt Martelli called, Another who owns punch. the Mint 400 and has an extensive background in off-road. My boy. He's not your boy. You've only known him because you're buying loads of expensive bits from loads of different garages and shit. And he's, that's not your friend. My boy. Okay. Racing goes, dude, you're building some crazy vehicles, a lot of horsepower. You need to learn how to properly drive these things so you don't get hurt and so you can have some fun. I went, let's do it. Look at that. How can you not trim your mustache? Honestly, how hard is it to just get this bite, this bit? Or maybe it's a brushing. Maybe he hasn't. Br maybe he's just comb it. Maybe that's that's the thing that you just just comb. Maybe with a beard brush, you just kind of br brush it down. But what's so hard about? Just, just doing this, the corners of the corners of your mouth. You go like this, you go down. You just get the flat head of a razor. You turn, you get a razor, turn it on the side, get the flat bit, line it up to where your mouth is. Just go zit, that bit goes off, and then you go the other side, zit, that bit goes off, and you there, you've got a mustache there. Then if you want to taper it on the edges, you can, but it's not that difficult. It really isn't that difficult, but you can't do it. It's just impossible. Show me the ways. I'm like, what do I do? He goes, well, we're going to connect you with some of the best off-road racers in the world, and you should probably compete in the Mint 400. I said, One second. I'm sorry to come in hot with that request without showing love first. Been editing a spicy COD montage. But that stash makes me feel better about myself slash more appreciative of my barber. <laughs> Yo, big up, NJ Rachel. No, don't worry about it, brother. Don't worry. No problem. Um... I just can't understand it, brother. You don't even have to have a barber to get that shit right. You don't have to look how look how bad it looks in this pause. You don't need to have a barber to get that right. You just need to look at yourself in the mirror and realize, oh, one side of my mustache is like this, and one stuff it's kind of going like that, like fucking, you know, like Zorro fucking style. Just go just brush it down. That's what I do anyway. And in my fucking beard or mustache hairs aren't as maybe curly or long or whatever it is. Just brush it down. So you know where it is, and you know what you've got to deal with, and just go choop, choop. It's not that difficult. It really isn't that hard. And if you fuck it up, just cut the whole thing off. Like, not that hard. Big up NJ Ranger. Say less. Next thing you know, I get flown to Arizona. I linked up with the rigid race. I get flown to Arizona. They flew you out. What well, why would you lie about that? You flew yourself to meet those guys for the content of your thing. They didn't fly you out. And he's going to get him back. Someone's going to ask them. Someone's watch. Someone on the Final Kids subreddit is going to be a real petty piece of shit. And they're going to tag them and say, hey, Bre Brendan said you flew him out. You flew him out. Is that true? Did you flew him out? Like fucking Diddy flies out his hose. They'd be like, no, we don't even fucking know Brendan. <laughs> you know what I mean? They didn't. F oh, anyway. Already lying. And they put me in a class one they car. These things are fast. These things are wild. It was so much fun. So I'm telling my buddies, they they saw. Me. Hey, by the way, why isn't there any footage of him driving the car? You see him smiling there with his sunglasses. He said he drove it and it was fun, but we don't see any footage of him actually driving it. Maybe because he didn't actually drive it. Because those cars are quite expensive. I don't think they're gonna let just any Tom Dick and Hacky drive it, are they? 
any Tom, Dick, and Harry, not hacky. But you know, maybe he's a bit of a hack. Hmm. Tommy Post, all the cool highlights in Arizona. Oh, me is doing that him? my thing. Yo. Is that him? Is that him? Okay, okay, finally. They there saw me post all the cool highlights. Okay, there we go. That's him. That's him. We got the we got the footage there. We got the footage. For once, I take it back. He is telling the truth here. He did drive that car. He did drive the cool car. There he is there. We can tell by the by the Chombi logo there, right? By the Chombi tattoo. The tattoo of one of his kids, you know, depicted as a fucking, you know, um dead person. Fucking wild. I liked in Arizona, me doing my thing, you know. And BJ Baldwin, uh, Ryan at Kibbe Tech, everyone's like, dude, class one's wild. You're first racing me a class one vehicle. And I was like, ah, that's what, I was like, this this is what everybody does, right? He's like, no, dude, that's insane. And BJ was like, So it's the same journey he took with stand up comedy. Instead of like taking his time and doing things slowly, he decides to go look at him looking at the cameraman. He can't even, you know, not look to the side or whatever. Um so instead of him taking his time and building up slowly to driving those class one cars, whatever it may be, he purposely decides to go for the top thing and be like a badass and do the top thing. And then it kind of works against him because on the day he ends up having to drive that doom buggy thing anyway. So all that for nothing. But in this scenario, I feel like he should take his, if he does want to be a professional race car driver, which is insane, but if he does want to be that, just learn it the proper way. Why? What's the problem with that? You, you're, you know, you're old already. Just take your time and do it properly, and then see where where it lands you. There's no need to try and cut corners or become like or try to make it seem like you're a protege or something or prodigy. <laughs> prodigy, but yeah, you know what I mean. Dude, it took me years before I got a class one. I was like, I'll figure it out. But being in that class one car, it was it was so much fun. I thought that's what you did. So much horsepower, so fast. The suspension's unreal. You're clearing rocks and mountains you didn't even think was possible. I thought that was just what everyone did. So fast forward, a few months goes by. Your boy's putting in the training, putting the time, getting used to the vehicle. I cannot wait. I the training, I don't believe also, by the way. Because if he was doing the training and putting in the time, he would have been posting on social media. He always posts everything on social media. The fact that he didn't post on social media is, for me, a big hint that that didn't happen. He drove those things once or twice, and that was it. This training thing didn't happen. X to doubt. Arrive in Vegas, and I find out that the rigid vehicle is having massive issues, and it's not going to be ready to race. I don't think he was ever promised that he was going to race the cars. I think he was allowed to race them or to drive them during the video that he recorded as part of some content. But I don't think he was ever allowed to race that car. I think he lied. I don't think he ever was allowed. It doesn't make any sense. Why would they give him such an expensive car to just race straight away his first time? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm hating, but I, I don't believe it. I don't think he was ever meant to drive him. And this happens. So this is nothing new to them. It's devastating to me. So I was like, all right, what do we do now, man? I'm dying inside. I'm like, what? I've, I've wasted my time. I've wasted my team's time. My manager, my brother's here. He was all excited. He's been training with me. I was like, the trip's ruined. Training so your boy's nice. feeling down. I don't have a car, but put in all this work. And then who do I run into? My friend for 15 years, the great Donald Cowboy Cerrone. My friend for 15 years, friend. He goes, I got this Volkswagen bug, dude. I've raced it before. Fun, he goes, it's gonna be tough. You know, it's a stick shift. You're gonna see every bump, every rock. You, it's gonna take a lot more brains and brawn and power to finesse this thing to get this through the track, through this entire Mint 400. The guys are like, man, if you can get through the Mint 400 and Volkswagen bug. You oh, so now the bug is the real test of a driver's skill. Funny that, isn't it? Who's he looking at, by the way? Is there a baddie there? Who's he looking at? Who's Brendan staring at there? Is that a baddie? Did Annie Lederman walk into the door? Do you see Whitney? Do you see Kalila? Who's he looking at? Who the fuck's he looking at? You can do this, my man. So let's do it. Next thing you know, I'm signed up for the Mint 400. Right now. Next thing you know, you signed up for it to, to brag. You know what you're doing. Next thing you know, you know, this guy. As if it was some big surprise. It is 8.30 at night. We're in Prim. We're at the course that I'll be running tomorrow. Usually I could do a lap about an hour and a half, and this bug is probably going to take three hours. So right now, it's it's late, and I'm getting some uh, reps in on this. How's, how, much, how much new car merch has he bought? He's even got like a King Shocks, what, merch, like a rain jacket. 
what, what did they what is this what's this king shocks right that's what they make right is it king shocks so king shocks the look the first picture that shows up is a picture of brendan actually he's done quite a lot for them isn't it so maybe they sponsor maybe actually maybe they actually sponsor him he's actually he's actually featured on one of the first pictures there but let's go on their website what do they sell because he has suddenly he's not wearing jerseys anymore he's wearing all of this fucking king merch it's like come on bro what do they have here they have a shop right cool what do they have in a shop let's see the merch do they have parts i want to see merch please if you don't mind shop where's the shop where's the where's the merch where's king let's do king shocks merch is that, is that it? Apparel. King Shots Apparel is this. JJ. So he has he has jackets and shit. So they sell long sleeves. They've got the jackets are quite well priced, isn't it? Sixty two dollars. Not too bad. The little um lightweight windbreaker, hoodie for forty five, hats for thirty five. This is kinda wild, but yeah. He just suddenly switched his entire wardrobe up and suddenly he's like all car manufacture, garage, garages, studios. Um, modifiers fucking merched out now king stuff king everywhere king 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 okay cool man it's all king all king in a house all king in a house where is it there smoke so I can bug see how it goes yeah. uh, well I've spoke to Brendan throughout this process of him uh, getting into the dirt racing and want to be a part of it and then when I heard that his car got Ruin, he wasn't able to drive. I was like, oh man, that that sucks. So we. Then I heard he didn't see. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't know. Brendan told him his car got ruined. So I still believe it was a lie. I had an extra car. Why not let him let him go out there and have some fun? So I would just hope someone would do the same for me. You know. It's familiar that he. Flipped, you know, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> he just learned how to drive. This is gonna make him a way better driver, just because. This is a driver's class. Like you have to wheel the shit out of this. It's gonna be shifting, driving, steering, braking. Like it's a, it's a driver's class. So he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna have a lot of fun in it. Yeah, I'll take the memory, fucking have fun. You know, it's just it's what it's all about. Like this community. You know, saying you, oh, we talked your whole process out. You're sick, stoked about it, going out there. I'm gonna nerf you. Good news is, bitch, I get to nerf you for real now. These are both my cars. Yes. <laughs> 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 friends boys this is to be fair it's kind of sad but this is what he needs isn't it that's what i said before i think brennan is really lonely i think the fact that he got into this is because he actually doesn't have any friends in comedy anymore ever since that bobby lee kalila shit went down i think a lot of comedians picked size and unfortunately for him a lot of them chose bobby lee side and he's probably been without a community, without a little friendship group for a long time. It's now even more so Rogan's left. So he really doesn't have any real friends in comedy, really. So he's going to, he's going to comedy clubs. He's not selling them out. Hardly anyone's there. He doesn't really know anybody. He doesn't want to hang out with them because he thinks probably they're, he's better than them. They probably don't want to hang out with him because they're friends with fucking Bobby Lee. So he quits. And now he has to find something else to kind of fill his itch and to kind of give him a sense of community. So he does the, the car thing, you know what I mean? So he probably loves this shit. He probably enjoys all this stuff more than even driving the cars. Do you know what I mean? Talking to people, texting, having phone calls, being in group chats and shit. It feels like being in comedy still. So it's kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of sad. I kind of feel bad for him in a way, but you know, still a redact. You gotta do whatever you want. These are both my cars. <laughs> the music man brendan how can you brendan owns a f like he just bought another trx truck another one cash modding it out like i think last count on the on the subreddit they said it was you know it's anywhere up until like a hundred thousand dollars spent on mods alone forget the cost of the car right lives in a mansion all these expensive shoes you can't commission somebody to make some music for you you have to use all this horrible ad free music you can't just put a couple bit put some money in the pot for some decent music has to be all this ad free horrible music like come on bro you can afford it you you honestly can like spend a bit of money man make the music a bit or even just put music on it that's gonna be copyright claim but it's gonna make the video better fuck it 
Just do it for the fucking content. This is horrendous, bro. This ad free music. I'm a country guy, country black, redneck, fucking working class, like salt of the earth wannabe music shit. Like, fuck off. <laughs> so loud too by the way it's so loud let me put down here it's so fucking loud a few moments later that thing is so dope yeah. fuck yeah we got lost over here i was like i think this is it and then he was like no let's go around i love this new per he's got he, he's He's honestly like a chameleon, isn't it? He's even got a different way he like walks and stuff because he's into truck, he's into car racing now. It's so, he's like a child, honestly. You have friends like this, right? You know, you have friends who like, when they get into like karate, when they get into like break dancing, when they get into skateboarding, they suddenly become different people. They change the way they talk, how they carry themselves. Brendan even like walks different, he talks different. Yo, it was so dope, man. It's like, the fuck is this guy? Trying to appear like the everyman, like the regular. <laughs> he's even talking like that. Like, it's so bizarre. He's forty. Two, he's forty-one years old. Oh, he's like a little chameleon. It's so weird. Better about the mom. Yeah, the shifting's so easy. Gotta yeah, be careful. You can flip these things pretty easily. Okay. They're gonna include two clips of him flipping his car in this one video. Whoever's editing this video needs to be shot in the face. Another another reminder he flipped his truck. Has he achieved anything else in his career apart from flipping his truck of any relevance? This is embarrassing, man. That thing's badass, man. It's fun, right? Fuck yeah. Stupid. It's fun as you can have at 20 miles an hour, I'm telling you. What do you say? As long as you can have. What do you say? 20 miles per hour? Is that a max, a max it goes? That thing's badass, man. It's fun, right? Fuck yeah. Stupid. Right. As Cross long as you can have it at 20 miles an hour, I'm telling you. As long as you can have it at 20 miles. So did Donald Cerrone tell him to only drive at 20 miles per hour? I'm so confused. To be fair, I do take the piss out of them a lot, but it is quite nice how close Brennan and his brother are. I'm sure it's because he has no one else that he can hang out with, which is kind of sad. But it's still nice that his brother's literally his best friend. You know what I mean? Like he goes everywhere with him, like legitimately. And he, he's, you know, his brother also seems to have a job where he can just drop his thing and just go hang out with Brendan, which is nice. Um, but yeah, it's quite cool that as brothers, they're still they can hang out together socially like this so often. Maybe because it helps because they're so close in age, but that's quite cool. On the floor. Oh, how desperately do you think Brendan wants a Monster Energy Drink sponsor? I'm actually surprised he doesn't have one. I'm actually shocked Brendan doesn't have a Monster Energy Drink sponsor, actually. You know that? Considering how he is, I'm actually shocked he doesn't have a Monster Energy Drink sponsor. Or maybe Monster Energy are quite tight with the sponsorships because they seem to be... They sponsor quite a lot of people. I'm shocked he hasn't got involved in it too. Because he'd love to have that. He'd love to wear the fucking hoodie and the hat with the Monza logo in it. He'd love to do it. I'm sure. But maybe he can't because he's sponsored by Rain, isn't it? Yeah, he's sponsored by Rain. So maybe he can't. But maybe Rain's a second choice. I don't know. I guess Rain is a second. Rain isn't as popular as Monza, is it? Better than your seat. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be sitting it looks like we got an oil leak because this motherfucker don't ever stop going. <laughs> the second he gets in the car, just that's the whitest thing ever. So he's got that pea suit on. He's not racing. He just stands there and pisses in it. Why? Why not take it off? Or why not move away from your friends that you're talking to and then pee? Like that's disgusting. Starts peeing. It's like a natural reaction for him. I don't know what I'm doing. It's my first day on this trip. <laughs> now I realize why I'm here. <laughs> it is. The comedian. It's Friday morning. It is officially. To be fair, it does look really fun. I'm not going to lie. Brennan aside, it does look really fun. If you're into cars, if you love fucking about on a course, 
like, and you're into off-road shit, which I am, having played. Do you guys remember Top Gear Rally? Do you guys remember Top Gear Rally? Top Gear Rally on the fucking N64. I used to fucking love this game, man. This is my game, bro. This is probably where I got a lot of my knowledge of cars from. Top Gear Rally and actually Top Gear the TV show. So, like, I remember a lot of the off-road stuff I used to fucking get on this game for sure. So, that's where I, that's what I'm reminded of. When I think of this thing he's doing, Mint 400, the immediate thing I think of is fucking Top Gear Rally on fucking the N64 back in the day. I love this car. I love this game, man. Honestly. This has legitimately taught me so much about cars. I got from this fucking game. I fucking loved it. Uh, let's continue. Race day. Can hardly sleep last night. I'm uh, super excited for this. Teaming up with Donald Cerrone, Cowboy, the BMF race team. Driving their buggy out there. So I'm excited. Almost time to go. One last thing I can go put on my cap. Nobody pees more than me. I drink so much Diet Coke and coffee. I'm pissing non-stop. The thing about the Mint 400 is... Is that like a badass thing now? Pissing all the time because you drink coffee and fucking... And, and sugary drinks. That's like a badass thing now. Okay, cool. You're going to be in that vehicle for about 12 to 15 hours. It's a long time. And you're definitely going to have to yeah, go to the I, bathroom. I you're not going to pull over and take a piss like a road trip. Oh, no. What the racers do is you put a catheter on your Johnson, and then the tube goes down your pant leg, out the side, and just kind of goes to the bottom of the truck and into the dirt. That whole course is just filled with piss. I assume. You're just peeing nonstop. It's so stupid of me to think I'd be okay. Yeah, so what you do is you unroll this yep. until you see the warning okay. label. If you don't see the warning label, you yeah. haven't unrolled it long enough. Or you got a small dick. Oh, Shazam! What? Shazam! You gonna put that on your wiener? Yeah, I'm gonna put this on my wiener. <laughs> Brendan with the fucking flatty ass, isn't it? Brendan's got the flattest ass in the world, isn't it? Absolute flatty. Look Somebody at that. Here. God damn. No cheeks. All back. He's like Taylor Swift. He's got just one long back. Look at that. No back. The little shadow's giving him some type of back, but he's got no bum. No glutes. No little pop. Nothing. What's the point of doing all those deadlifts and all those heavy squats when you've got no bum? Where's the bum, bro? Absolutely the longest back ever. Just long and flat. Look at that. Where's the bum? Look at it. Look at that. Great. So now the next question. Now you got all that done. You know, do you have to cut off six inches off the rubber tube? Do you have to cut a foot off the rubber tube? Because you know, the longer the rubber tube stands out. <laughs> dad banter, isn't it? Who the fuck is this dork dad? Greg Shapiro. Look at fucking Ben Shapiro's dad out here talking shit. Who's this guy? This is dad, dad humor. So if you put the tube in this longer. <laughs> that so, now, so now the next question is now you got all that done, you know, do you have to cut off six inches off the rubber tube? Do you have to cut a foot off Shut the rubber up, tube? Because you know, the longer the rubber tube stands out. Yeah, the longer your pecker is. Just say it. You know, it's not he's doing that dad thing as well. He's looking at them for approval, like like what dads do and stuff when they want to make you laugh. Look him looking at them for approval. Look him as the rubber tube stands out. Yeah, the longer your pecker is. You see him? Look at looking at them. Look off the rubber tube. Look, looking for approval. I'm funny, right? <laughs> you know, the longer the rubber tube stands out. Yeah, the longer your pecker is. Just say it. You know, it's not on great. <laughs> Are you? Oh, see, I knew I knew we have to cut a lot off that game. Yeah, because what I do is I. I knew you had to cut a lot of that because you got a big dick. <laughs> I knew Brendan, you're a badass, right? You fought in the UFC. <laughs> yeah, you had to cut a lot. Of you you would have to cut a lot up with you. I bet that hog is fucking long and strong. <laughs> I should have my wife over here to inspect it for you. <laughs> fucking dork dad. I normally tuck it in my sock so it's not dangling around like that when I'm walking around tech and stuff. Yep. And right before I get in the race car, I pull it out and I forgot to do that one time. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, it feels so good. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, <laughs> so bitch, I just did a shoey. Oh, he feels really funny there. Isn't he? I did a shoey. He must tell that joke so many times. I'll tell you that one time when I was driving the Mint 395, right? <laughs> Not 495, you get it? So I put this tube in my shoe. 
Dad, shut up. I don't think I did it that well. Yeah. It should be all right. Where is it? I don't, it feel like it fell off, maybe. Oh, really? Yeah. His face looks so odd, man. Is that... He just, does he, do you think he just wakes up inflamed? What's wrong with his face? Is it fillers? Right. <laughs> Bad angle. Look at his, like, he looks like he's wearing a mask. What's wrong with his face? He looks so weird, isn't it? Like, is that fillers? Why is it? What the fuck's going on with his face? Like, how can you be that skinny and also be that inflamed and embalmed? Like, what? It, it feel like it fell off, maybe. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be okay. <laughs> what are people saying here? Ozempic face fillers, use of alcoholic bloat. Yeah, big up Jack Donahue, probably. Um, Botox makes you swell for a week. I've seen it been months. I've seen <laughs> big up Joel. Nice no, ellipses sucking in, blowing that same time. Okay, cool. Fillers and any water being sucked right in. Yeah, it's so odd. He has the strangest face. It's almost glassy. I don't know. I don't know. He's driving so slow. He's driving so fucking slow. Apologies for the rewind because you have to hear that horrible music again. But he's driving so slow. Also, I wonder how happy or unhappy his sponsors are. That he's a rain sponsored athlete and he's driving a monster energy drink sponsored dune buggy at the mint 400. They're probably not that, I bet they won't be that pleased, would they? Isn't it? You'd imagine. Has he been sponsored by rain in a while? I've, I've not seen him talk about rain in ages, but they probably won't be too happy that he's, dry, he's wearing a rain helmet whilst driving a car that's got massive amounts of monster energy drinks everywhere logos. Hmm. Oh, is it? Oh, fucking old Matty boy. Damn it. You stopped my conspiracy. Rain is owned by Monster, is it? Okay, cool. Is it? No, I didn't know that. Rain energy drink. Monster beverages. Oh, fuck. I had no idea they owned it. Rain. Total Body Fuels American Energy Drink that was introduced in 2019 by the Monster Beverage Corporation is available with 16 flavors in 2019 VPX 45 lawsuit against Monster Beverage Infringer Trademark. Monster Beverage Coaster Bluffy. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. What other drinks do they have under their roster? Um, do they have other drinks? What's, what's this here? Former products. Can I see other drinks? What's Monster Energy other drinks? Other drink brands, I don't know. What do they have here? Oh, is that what they have? They have what? So it's all owned by Coca Cola. Fuck. What's what do they? Uh, they have Monster. Okay, they're Monster. Uh, other brands. They have BPM Energy, Rain Total Body Fuel, Predator Energy, Ultra. Is this all to appeal to dudes? Is this like is this like the equivalent of when you know when they do like aftershave? Um difference is it between men and women deodorant, right? Deodorant design or something. Remember like men's is all like it looks like a sword or a knife and shit. And women's are always like pink and soft. Do they purposely make these kind of names? Right? For the difference of deodorant, is are the names dip to appeal to men? It's like college dudes, like Burn, Ultra, Predator, Rain, BPM, Monster. Yeah, that's what they do it for, right? Like, what the, what the fuck are these names, man? But anyway, continue on.
how they sped that section up. Do you get it? Look at that bit. They sped up that section. They sped up that section, brothers. They sped up the section. Look, they sped up artificially. It should be noted here that my catheter did not stay on. It came out the minute I jumped into that vehicle. I'm like, here we go. And I jump and I can feel it just go, and it falls off. In my head, I'm like, fell off. And I thought, I'll be all right. And I'm going, I'm so focused. It's so intense. I don't want to die. I'm shifting. I'm doing my thing. I'm listening to my co-pilot there. He goes, man, you're kind of quiet. What's going on with you? I go, bro, I got to piss so bad. I can't focus on anything else. He goes, oh, dude, you, you got to let it out. And so then your boy's pissing, but remember you're like this. When I say I pissed all over Donald's Volkswagen bug and Donald, I'm so sorry if you're just finding out about this. Disgusting, isn't it? He pisses all over the skink, sink and now he's pissing all over somebody's fucking car they lent him because his one allegedly broke on the day. Yuck. I pissed everywhere all over that car, man. I, it was bumpy, I was just flying everywhere, it got weird. I apologize. How you feeling, dude? I'm good. He's a big dude for these cars as well, isn't it? It's probably not handy, isn't it, to be like a car driver. You're big up, uh, who's this? MH. Hit me with a bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese, bean cheese. Bean cheese. <sighs> 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 nearly, nearly popped, fucked up my rot rotary cuff there, isn't it? Fuck. But big up MH. Appreciate you. Big up MH Susio. Big up MH Susio. Appreciate you. But he's quite big, isn't it, to race cars. It must not be it must not be handy to be as big as he is to race cars. It must be fucking difficult. He's fucking massive. What, six foot three, two hundred and fifty pounds? So it's kinda of difficult to race these kind of that, that's the only issue, isn't it, you'd imagine. Apart from the skill as well, you know what I mean? The whole thing. Doesn't he kind of look like um Kubla Kai there? Kubla. How do you spell his name again? It's a Kubla Kai? Kubla Kai? That's, that's, a, that's a Kubla Queen. Kubla Kai. <laughs> Is it Kubla? Is it Kub, Kubla Kai? How do you spell it? Do you know what I mean? How do you spell Kublo Kai? Kublo Kai? Kwai? How the fuck do you spell Kublo Kai? Hmm. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Is it Kublo? How do you spell Kublo Kai? Is it K U K U B? Kub Kubakai Kublokai Not Kubuki <sighs> Anyway, it doesn't matter who it looks like, it doesn't matter, fuck it. Thing about a mile out flat tire and clutch issue. That was dope. Dope. That hair needs a that hair needs a wash though, isn't it? Oof, that hair needs a fucking wash. God damn it. That hair needs a fucking wash. She's got such a weird shaped head in it. What is this? What is this bit here? Is that HGH? And look at the cheeks. He really fucked himself with the fillers and the TRH and that. What is that? What is that? What the fuck is this? That extra meat above his forehead. He's he so dicey. Look, right here. Come on back. Come on back. One more time. One more time. I need that. Look, I need that clip. I need that clip. Yeah. He's he, he so dicey. <laughs> what minute was that? 10.45 Hold on, what's that? One more time 
dope. Yeah. It, it, it's all dicey. So I think it's 10.43 to 10.46. Sorry, I need this. 10.43 to 10.46. I fucking need that. I fucking need that. Like the 10.45. 10.43 to 10.46, right? 10.43 to 10.46. I need that. I need that so far. I need that so much. 10.43. It's so dicey. It's so dicey. To ten forty six. Please. Oh yeah, we got it. 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 This is good. This is a good one. Please. This has to be. This has to be a good one. Look at this. This is a good one. It's so dicey. 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 Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Ah, dude, I was on cloud nine because you, you, they call it the bottleneck or whatever, yeah. and it's like this skinny trail. And you're going all the way up the mountain. It's like sharp turns. He's like, if you can do this, you can drive anywhere. And I was like, say less, dog. So I'm in first gear, just doing it, doing it. We doing. He's like, yeah. I'm like high fiving. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, then we're going down here. I'm like, dude, we're only a mile out. He's like, dude, we got a good time too. I'm like, fuck yeah. We're like talking shit about passing all the other bugs. I'm like, dude, see how many cars we pass. He's like, and I get off down that shit. When you see like passing cars when we pass them, I was like, fuck yeah, dude. And then we're gone and then clutch. I'm like, kid, but I think something. He's even the way he even talks is different. He's changed his cadence to how he talks. Fuck yeah, dude. Like, honestly, he's like a he's literally a chameleon. He gets around certain people and his whole personality changes. The way he talks, the way he carries himself, he's fucking incredible, man. It's fucking incredible. It's so odd. It's the type of stuff you do when you're a kid or a teenager, but he's a grown ass man. <laughs> it's similar. You know what? You know what he's doing here. You know, remember you took the piss out of uh, Mark Zuckerberg for taking that picture when he's injured during um, jujitsu practice and he was under fucking hospital bed and he had that fucking fighter pose with the fists and Brennan was taking the piss out of him, rightfully so. Brennan's done the sex, exact, exact same thing, even cringer. He's now adopted this like faux race car driver badass trailer park you know sorry um tailgating culture type of bro thing right he's basically trying to look like them yeah yeah, yeah. like fucking hell papa yeah, I was on cloud nine till that happened. I'm like, fuck, dude, now I'm not gonna win. You wanna put the tire back on now? You're done back on. No, I gotta adjust the clutch. You might not. Because the, the free play is all fucked up. Okay, hold up, push down. Now let off. Let off. So, a little fact for you I learned how dangerous and how hard the MIMP 400 is by doing it. So, remember, I'm in a class 11, I'm averaging about 25 miles per hour. Those other boys are averaging 90, 100 miles an hour. They're on the same track and you're on these narrow roads and there's nowhere to go and you have to let them pass. So they're flying by you and you're in the way and you gotta figure out a way to get out of the way. And it's not like the 405 where you can just switch lanes, you're running into giant rocks, you're all sorts of dangerous stuff or you're on the side of a cliff and you have to go right. And it was absolutely terrifying, man. Terrifying. He gets given a car that's got a max speed of 50 miles per hour or something. Right? He gets given a class... He, he thinks he's going to be driving in a class 1. Then he gets put into a class 11. Then he completely, what, craps out the clutch because he's probably, dr I'd say, as they say in the car world, riding it too hard. <laughs> Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Imagine the damage you would have done to those fucking super expensive class one cars then if you got in them. Imagine the damage you would have done. There we go. 
you'll see a bunch of people are crash. Okay. So you're just going to think. Yeah. Brendan's trying to give him a pet talk like he's an expert. I love it. Brendan raced one time and he's giving him pep talks like he's an OG. You probably got the same level, skill level, man. You probably might be even better than you. Come on, man. Brendan giving him lessons like he's fucking, you know, <laughs> like he's a vet. I love him. Just yeah, old, so old man Sunday drop. <laughs> did he get that? Did he have to do that? Did he have to close the door? He had to get the shot in of him closing the, the door on his brother. <laughs> Even because it's a dull weird. <laughs> <laughs> he moves so... He's such a weird guy. I swear to God. He's just so bizarre. Look at how he closes the door and he moves his body. Just old, so old man Sunday drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so weird. <laughs> so well it's just like the very fucking end. dude there, there's one part over there even greg was like dude if we can pass and get a penalty we should do it it was so gnarly man man i was having such a good time till that happened and i'm really worried about my brother it's dicey dude he's a better driver than me but it i'm telling you that's dicey all right so after completing a full lap which just done about four hours i go to get out of the car and it hit me my brother's next I'm a wild boy. This is, I like to do this stuff. And I dragged my, talked my brother into getting off-road racing. And I, I regret it that exact moment. You can, you can see here with my body language how tense I was. I was so worried. It's just not like I'm handing it off to another professional driver. I'm handing it off to my older brother, my best friend. Like, if anything were to happen to him, and things definitely happen, it's on me. It's all on me. I'm responsible for it. I got us in this situation. I didn't know what we signed up for. So as my brother's going, he's kicking butt. We can track where he's at. He's off to a great start. You know, he, he's, he's passing people by. But just like a lot of the racers out there, he had an issue with his car. So where are we at? What happened? You mean like everybody out there. So he's, is he now trying to say that if he didn't have these issues, he would have finished higher? Isn't this part of the fun though, these races? Isn't part of the fun that things never go to plan? Things always, unexpected things happen, cars break down, you get into a crash. I don't know, are these ra are these races done to win? Do people actually go there with the, unless you're like a proper race car driver, don't you go there just for the experience of meeting up different, meeting with different people, meeting up, sorry, meeting different people who are into the same type of thing, the whole travel, the preparation, Sitting around the fucking fire, talking shit, smoking, drinking, eating. Isn't that the fun thing? Unless you're a serious race car driver. I don't, again, I don't know nothing about this rally shit and this off road shit. It's, it's not even, I don't think it's like official, isn't it? It's like a, it's kind of like exhibition y type of thing, it feels like. Um, if that's the case, why does it matter? Why is he trying, why is he why is he banging on about the cars when it's like it happens to everybody? It's part of the it's almost part of the culture, I'd assume. But I think he's trying to say it as like, oh, if I would if my car would have been still working, I would have won. It's like, brother, please, no. Yeah, they busted the upper ball joint uh, in the bug and put us out of the race effectively. Which is kind of a bad way to end the day, but that's racing, right? say we tried yeah yeah don't get me wrong um joe from mia you're right if i would have entered two i would have tried to win as well but i don't think it's that kind of i'm sure there are other races you can do that are a little bit more of an easier course you still do them off-road technically but they don't require you having to go this long distance and shit and turn it into like um you know like a touring thing i think there are better ones you could do for sure um but it just feels weird because I get the feeling that everybody's car breaks down. It's sort of like part of the fun. It's like fixing up a car to race and then f trying to fix it when it breaks down. Like, that's part of it. But, you know, I don't know. The upper ball joint on the passenger side, bro. So.
Yeah, let's leave him alone. It was fun though. Yeah. Really fun. It, it wasn't necessarily bad prep or bad driving oh, or anything like shit. that. It was just, yeah, the, the ball joint. It's, it's never your fault, yeah? Look, look, look at dad. Of course the dad comes in to save the day. It wasn't you, it wasn't your prep, it wasn't your bad driving or your lack of knowledge or your lack of skill or you riding the fucking clutch too hard and fucking crapping out the fucking gearbox. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't you at all. It wasn't your poor driving skills, maybe letting you kind of, you know, go over too many rocks and you s fucked up something on the chassis, fucked up something on the axle, fucked up something on the suspension. No, it wasn't you. It was definitely just the, the it's, it's always the course. It's never the driver, it's never the team. It's never an oversight over internally. Nah, it's always the fucking course. Love it. This guy's basically, he's Brian Callan. Yeah, it's another Brian Callan. He's old enough to be Brian Callan. This is basically Papa Callan. This is basically Brian's dad. Brian's dad here to fucking, you know, make sure Brendan knows that it's not his fault. <laughs> Love it. Just sheer snap, yeah. you know? So That's what they call it, racing, not winning. If, if it was called winning, everybody would do it. True. What? What kind of dad analogy is that? That's why it's called racing and not winning. Shut up, dad. What? That's why it's not called winning. Isn't winning an action of racing? Isn't winning a consequence of racing? Of taking part in something? They don't even, they're not even, doesn't even make any sense. What? One more time, one more time, fucking rogue Brian Callan's dad is choking up his ass. Uh, the, the ball joint just sheared and snapped, yeah. you know? So That's what they call it, racing, not winning. If, if it was <laughs> called winning, everybody would do it. True. And everybody, by that, he means his haters, right? Haters, the, the haters are not here. <laughs> Look at that front wheel. Look at how much Brendan and Jay Callan have fucked up that front right wheel. He would do it. True. Look at that. Look at that wheel. That wheel so right is now toast. So right now it looks really good, but the wheel actually is folded sideways like that. It was flat. Jesus. Yes. So there's no, you know, it, see how it's all. We had it when we crashed. The tire was down like this. So there's nothing. The tire is attached with two point, two points, a lower ball joint, an upper ball joint. Yeah. Brendan has no idea what he's talking about. Brendan has no idea what. Look, you, you know, you know this is a, you know this is a dad, because he saw Brendan and he saw in his eyes that he didn't get what he was saying. So he had to do like the the baby thing and start like demonstrating with his hands and shit. You could tell when you looked at Brendan that he didn't have no idea. He had like a glassy look on his face. So he had to go. You know, like there's a tire, right? And then there's a, that connects the tire. And then that connects the, there's a suspension, right? <laughs> he had to do this demonstration with his hands. So he could get what's going on. Oh. The upper ball joint is snapped. So that means the tire, there's nothing to hold the tire straight anymore. So it just goes, whoof, and lays flat. And that's what, we totally lost control and drove into a big burn because the tire was not steering us. Physics. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys. Uh, if I could say, this is one of the most difficult off-road races. Is the Mint 400? I'm mean. oh, right. Fucking. Why is he sucking him up so much? Does he want to be on camera? Does he want to be part of fucking the Fit Boy team? Does he want to be on Team Fucking Fit Boy Racing? Does he own Rain or something? Like, what the fuck? Why is he sucking him up so much? Or is this um Lex's dad, Brendan's manager? Like, what the fuck, bro? I just want to say, guys, before you leave. You guys are fucking excellent. Like, don't don't listen to anybody else. You guys are really awesome. It's like, all right. The glazing is too much, bro. I mean, it's history in Southern Nevada and everything. It is truly one of the roughest off-road races to try and tackle. And you guys... Some would say the roughest. Yeah, it step, stepped up to the... I love how they say this sort of stuff and they haven't raced many races around the world. But... This American one is the toughest one because it's the only one you know, yeah? No, there's no other race around the world that could be tougher than this. It has to be. This is the only one. Late for yeah. your very first one. Yeah. So that was That's really cool. Kind of like somebody who wants to ride a bull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild. Yeah. You guys are wild. You just did a Mint 400 in a book. That's cool. 
All right, fam, we reached the end of the video for the Mint 400. Even though we didn't place and didn't finish, I had an absolute blast. I had one of the best memories in my entire life. Yeah, I, I was proud of myself for getting through it and uh, I was completely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> yeah, I was proud of myself. Who asked him? That's a weird cut. Yeah, I was proud of myself. You should have started with, I was really proud of myself for doing it. I was kind of nervous that, yeah, I was proud of myself. Yeah, I know I'm amazing. So fucking weird. What the fuck was that all about? What the fuck was that all about? Please, someone tell me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm amazing. I get it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking cool. Yeah, I know. I race. I race trucks, man. I'm the fucking best, man. Racing trucks, bro. That's the best, man. What I thought going in, and what I know now, is complete opposite. It was just, it was eye-opening. It was absolutely eye-opening. I was inspired nonstop. It's an entire team of mechanics, managers, uh, technicians, and these guys work their ass off. They, they can fix everything. They know the problem like that. And uh, it was super inspiring, super inspiring. And I just love the, the atmosphere. I love the community, the camaraderie. Like, I'm just- See, I told you he's lonely, man. Brendan's really lonely. He needs friends. The comedy community abandoned him or have ostracized him. He's never really been a part of the crew anymore. So, yeah, he he needs friends. That's why he went there, basically. That's why he's he's kind of cosplaying as this working class, blue collar pickup guy, all American made dude. Just in all, all white dude. All of all these guys, man. Quick shout out who made all this possible. Oh, yeah. Let's let's do the plugs at the end to get more free shit, right? This isn't like a actual appreciation. This is definitely a way to like show the sponsors, hey, look how many views I got in the video, bring me more stuff. But the views are a bit, are a bit trouble, innit? Again, I, I don't really watch views because my views on my stuff ain't that great. So I'm not really, a, I'm not gonna stick on any of the views, but you know, 2000 views in 13 hours, not the greatest, you know, not the greatest I'd say. But he's probably gonna add them all up from the other sides, isn't it, right? Audio is king. It took a freaking village to give me the Mint 400. Matt Martelli, Mint 400 owner, Rigid Lights, Ramsey at King Shocks, Bert, KB Tech, and most of all, the BMF racing team, all of you guys. You're the best, you're the best. You make me feel like family, so. And most of all, thanks to you guys for watching. We're a new channel, so we got a lot of cool content coming, more races, more crazy builds. We got a lot of fun stuff. Why about all the modding? He's now doing the fuck. Why is his hands out there? It's all by the way. What happened to the modding? Why is his hands weird like that? What's is that all the is that playing football? Or is that just from fighting? His hands are really oddly shaped, isn't it? The way they extend the knuckles, they're kind of like hyperextension. I don't know. But what happened to the mods? Where's all the mods? What happened to the mods? Actually, that's actually a good screenshot. What happened to the modding? Nice race car driving channel. There's no more mods. Interesting, isn't it? Interesting coming up so make sure you tune in subscribe like everything all right till next time of course he's got the uh, he, he loves a good hero shot thing all right till next time brendan loves a good hero shot he loves the hero shot walking from behind he fucking loves that shot that's his favorite shot but this is my favorite shot this is my favorite one he way his head and nods as well it's fucking hilarious He's so flat headed, isn't it? Like, ugh. it's so dicey. Hair needs a fucking shampoo and condition. It looks so fucking mat nat natty, matty. Jesus. He's probably got some natural dreadlock somewhere behind it because he doesn't brush it or wash it at all. It looks awful. He's so dicey. He's so dicey. He's so dicey. He's so dicey. He gets a little dicey. <laughs> It gets a little dicey. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's it for that one. So big up Brendan for doing episode five of that. Absolutely fantastic fucking, you know, content there to watch. Actually, this is what I didn't watch the finish of the last bit. Let's see the last bit. The last montage. Town, the number one place to be for all your car modding. I mean, rally. I mean, off road. I mean, four by four. I mean, pickup truck content. 
Toontown with Brendan Schwab. I love it. He's got all the sponsors around the title. Like, honestly, man, the fucking grip never ends in it. I wonder if they all pay or give him free content. That's fucking hilarious having all the names around the tires like that. 